Hey everybody, Chase here with Tourist, and I'm lucky enough to be sitting with one of our great photographers here from uh, Kissimmee, Florida, Martin Gallagher. How you doing, Martin? Very nice to meet you. Thank you for coming out and visiting us today and uh, sitting down for our interview. Uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, where you're from. And... Okay, I'm originally from a place called Bolton near Manchester in England. Uh, I've been in the United States on and off about 21 years now, so I'm a kind of resident y'all. Picking up the lingo, but uh, and I'm based out of the Kissimmee area and I kind of work in the different fields of the photography and video. And uh, what's your business right now? Uh, my main business is a photography and video solution center, so I kind of create a lot of tourism and real estate based stuff uh, between the virtual photography and uh, advertising videos, things like that. It's a lot of my main product. That's awesome. So, how long have you actually been a panoramic photographer? Uh, I've been shooting panoramas since the early days when iPix was around in 1998, uh, and then I was shooting up to about 2000. 2006. Took a little break from it and then recently stepped back in with the introduction of Tourist. So uh, how did you come, out, come to find out about Tourist and uh, you know... Um, it... I've been a, a Mac user for many years. I, I got the first iPad, I've had three ever since and kind of been looking at different apps and things. And in one of the magazines it introduced the Tourist app. Uh, and obviously because I was in the panoramic photography, it was very interesting to look at. So I downloaded the app. Very, very impressed with it. Very impressed with the interactivity of it. And uh, it dragged me back into shooting more panoramas, which I haven't been doing for a while. So. Do you uh, um, tie in tours into your, your daily business? Absolutely, and, uh, yeah. Um, of it? One of my main client bases is the, the, the rental um, villa markets and the travel business. So it fits perfectly with their market and it really introduced the new market because I was looking for a solution that fits with the smartphones and the uh, iPads and things like that as I feel that's the next market for it and it fit perfectly with that and, and reintroduced a new level uh, and a new exciting field of the virtual photography again. So what type of uh, parent photography do you shoot mostly? Is your mainly mainly real estate, mainly travel business, uh, anything to do with the travel industry, uh, any kind of uh, entertainment, attractions, things like that is my main core of, of things. And then personally, I will shoot different things that interest me. Uh, for my 50th birthday, for instance, which I did a, a shoot of um, Kennedy Space Center, uh, which you'll find on the tourist app. There's mm -hmm. about 30 panoramas of Kennedy Space Center on there, which is getting a lot of excitement and a lot of people looking at that. Would you say that's one of your uh, favorite panoramas you've shot recently? Uh, yeah, or? I like some of that stuff. Yeah. yeah, I like the travel stuff and things like that. And really, my favorite song was the, the one I've just finished, so i am kind of move on. I've never stuck on one thing or another. Yeah. So how, how much of your uh, current business is actually made of panoramic photography? Uh, I'll probably say about 40% uh, at the moment. It's moving a little bit more into that because I'm developing 360 video and some new things that we've got behind me here. I've got some different products that I'm developing. So it will move a lot more into that. But right now, I, I do most of my stuff. About 40% is uh, panoramic photography. Do you have a signature move, like something you do in your panoramas that most people don't do? Uh, not really. I tend to spend... I charge a lot less money than everybody else, which is one thing. But um, I'm more... In, in, in the kind of mindset of, of obviously providing the best quality panoramas I can. So I use a little bit more time using the high definition range ones and trying to present a much deeper uh, panorama color wise, more more realistic. I mean, the whole point of a panorama, I believe, is to make people feel like they're standing there. And, and the more you can get that as a human eye would see it, the better it's going to be. Is that your favorite part about 360 panoramics? Or? Yeah, absolutely. And it's the same time that people get showing it to people. I'm, I'm a kind of guy that likes to show them a new gadget and show new yeah. things. And people really get blown away with this. It's that you got a hand on an iPad and tell them, hey, yeah. you're in yeah. Paris. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So where do you see the world of panoramic photography going right now, or I mean, tying into video and other things? Yeah, I mean, panoramic photography has been around for, for many, many years, uh, and it's certainly evolved recently with the, with the interactivity of the iPad. So it's gone from being a computer-based system to a hands-on, it's on my phone, it's on my iPad. So it's in your hands right now, so it becomes a lot more interactive. And I can certainly see, as the phones and the iPads become more 3D-based and more, more kind of as part of your daily life, it's gonna become a lot more 3D, a lot more video, things like that, and become immersively, where basically you're gonna feel like you're actually there. Uh, and the, we're not too far away from the days where it's either gonna be beam direct onto your retina or in your 3D glasses, mm -hmm. and you actually feel like you're standing there as well, so. So to you, where does uh, the world of, you know, your business, parent photography, the technology, the iPads, and tourists come into play with this group? Uh, for me, tourists is a platform for displaying, and I can see that growing very, very fast. Uh, I can see Tourist as, a, as a, a solid platform for many marketing companies, many companies to use, and certainly for a, a presentation base, if you're at a travel business presentation or anything like that, the iPhone and the ability to connect that to a TV system and show a 360 panorama, excuse me. <laughs> 
But um, I mean, really, the change from video. Um, yeah, interactive, uh, and again, it's becoming more interactive for people to use. Again, giving you a beader technology. That the whole core of panoramic photography and anything like that is to give the impression that you're standing there, that you're getting the feeling as though you're in that particular place. And certainly, with the technology moving the way it is. Uh, it'll be very quickly adapted into new technologies and things like that. And Tourist is a, is a solid platform for that, I think. So speaking of cool gadgets and new techs, um, Martin brought along some of his toys that he's been working on. Can you explain what we're looking at right yeah, now? Yeah, I mean, I've developed at the moment, I've got three uh, prototypes that I've been working on. The first one, very simple, is just an adaptive uh, version of a click stop. It's a miniaturized version to go with the, the new uh, GoPro Hero 2 cameras, which are the adventure cameras everybody's using. Uh, I quickly saw that the new 11 megapixel sensors and the time lapse and everything of this camera is perfect for panoramic photography. And then this is a... And I, I personally like how this one works too because it's got motor on right Where we absolutely about? yeah this one is a, is a 10 second panorama you just switch it on the time lapse switch the camera on you get 10 seconds you've got a panorama uh, very very easy to use concerts a lot of people moving around it's a great way to go and that's one of the uh, directions of going in uh, this particular one here is a new development we're working on which is basically 360 video it's the ability to capture a panorama in a one-shot system so you've got all four cameras going to be able to shoot all at once and it will also capture high definition 30 frame a second or up to 120 frame a second 360 video. Uh, so certainly for people, skydivers, people like that, you can get really good 360 slow motion video out of something like this. I can put um, this on my wakeboard, right? You certainly can. Uh, it yes. Might be, might be a little bit heavy and pull you to one side at the moment. That's okay. On that, so. <clears throat> I got a heavy head. That does it all the time. So. But uh, we're still developing these. As I said, these are the first prototypes. We're working on some new test shots. Uh, I'm going to put some online that people can look at on the tourist site. You'll be able to see some of the panels from that. That's awesome. Well, you know, my last question really is one of my favorite, but what is, uh, you know, if you can go right now anywhere in the world and shoot a panorama photography, uh, 360 is anywhere, where would you go? Uh, probably for me would be the palace in London, go to the Queen's Palace, uh, to be able to shoot places where people aren't allowed to go uh, and actually get people to see the history and things like that of, of, of unique uh, buildings like that. Well, when you get that done, make sure you send it in so I can feature it, okay? Okay. Everybody, hey, thank you, uh, Martin, for coming in. And uh, everybody who wants to check out more of Martin's work, uh, go right on the tours. You got your own yeah, portfolio. Yeah, Martin Gallagher's on there. If you look for Martin Gallagher, you'll find me on there. Awesome. Everybody's chasing on tours with Martin Gallagher. Uh, we look forward to seeing your panoramas uh, this year. So post them, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks, Martin. Thank you.